It's that time of the year. We're talking about March Mammal Madness, and this is The Rundown. Bringing you all the highlights of the tournament, I am Lion, and I'm joined by my co-host, Giraffe. Great to be here, Lion, and it was a sweet night of Sweet 16 action across all the divisions. There was science, there was running away, and there was even some carnage. And we have some friends here to splash up the facts and dig up the details. I'm talking about Great White Shark and Boar. Let's begin. In the first match of the night, number eight seed Gelada is transported from the Ethiopian highlands to number three seed Kuwadi's home habitat in Costa Rica. Much larger than the Kuwadi, Gelada ignores the raccoon cousin and focuses on finding edible grass in the tropical forest. But something else wasn't ignoring Kuwadi. An ocelot. In a tangled tumble, the felid delivered a death bite to the Kuwadi. Kuwadi eliminated. Did the primates make some kind of deal with incidental felids? Snow leopard last round, ocelot this round. Why are felids giving Delata repeated walks? Talk about a cat scandal. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm just joking around. Next battle. We saw number one seed and best friends tag team Ginkgo and Rizzo were once again in the forest of Mount Jinfo, China, when number five seed Ring Seal was translocated to the base of the massive tree. Ring Seal began scraping and rubbing against the tree as fur began peeling off the pinniped. It's the spring molt. This is when seals shed their old fur and regrow a shiny brand new coat. Ring Seal returns some nitrogen to the soil and lumbers down the hill toward fresh water. Ring Seal eliminated. Hey giraffe, hey big kitty. Next battle. Although great at grub digging, number two seed Sun Bear is great at climbing and was up a tree grabbing figs when number three seed Kalugo was translocated from camouflaging clinging to a tree trunk in Singapore to the fig tree in Malaysia. As Sun Bear climbed down from the tree, his back foot claw impaled Kalujo's patagium to the tree. Sun Bear lifted his back paw, causing Kalujo to fall, but she extended her patagium parachute. Mayday! 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 The torn patagium changes airflow, and the glide is barely controlled. But Kalujo catches a safe landing in a nearby tree. Off the field of battle, Kalujo eliminated. Moving on, it's birth season for number four seed Peccary. Having delivered her young yesterday when she is translocated to the Sahara Desert to encounter a number one seed Attix resting in the sands. Attix stands up, stamps his foot, and bleeds at the Peccary. Peccary bristles back at the twisty horned herbivore with a huff woof. Attix urinates, releasing an aroma of dominance that effectively intimidates smell-sensitive Peccary who departs the field of battle to find her young. Peccary eliminated. Hello, hello. Time to talk the seascape battles. In the Arctic Ocean, number two seed narwhal outlasted number six seed zebra. The terrestrial herbivore can even do poorly in its own mountains during cold weather. Zebra was entirely challenged by the frigid waters, quickly becoming hypothermic. Mountain zebra eliminated! In a battle of two living fossils, number three seed frilled shark was translocated from Saluga Bay, Japan to the Trinity River estuary of the Gulf Coast. Frilled shark tried to make a meal of number two seed alligator gar, but gar's armored scales repelled the shark's needle-like teeth. Like being covered in tooth enamel, Gar's defenses were impressive, but didn't limit her flexibility. With her double row of conical sharp teeth, Alligator Gar grasped frilled shark's armorless body, delivering a devastating bite down. Too big to eat, frilled shark drifts down, never to bother Alligator Gar again. Frilled shark eliminated! Next up, in the Santa Susana Mountains of Southern California, number two seed Puma is hunting when number three seed Saiga is translocated from Kazakhstan. Puma leaps 30 feet to bring down the stumbling Saiga and hold on, on to the herbivore with strong claws and forearms as Puma sinks two inch canine teeth into Saiga's spine. Ripping in, the Puma prioritizes the most nutritious organ meat before. <laughs> 
We get it. The herbivore gets eaten. I just like the opportunity to celebrate forensic science. But point taken. Saiga eliminated. In the final match of the night, the largest living land carnivore and number one seed polar bear takes on the number four seed Cape Buffalo as a visiting combatant. Cape Buffalo was at a significant disadvantage on the sea ice. Bolting from the stalking polar bear, Cape Buffalo ran into the Arctic waters. Polar bear climbed onto the Cape Buffalo using his weight to submerge the prey so that only the latter's head and neck were still visible above the water. Then with his teeth, polar bear grabbed the Cape Buffalo by the nape, plunging the mega herbivore entirely under the water. In just a few minutes, Cape Buffalo succumbed to the carnivore. Cape Buffalo eliminated. Aren't there more details to the battle? How did polar bears start eating the Cape Buffalo? <sighs> of course you would ask about that. The Evening Magazine and the Play-By-Play -play with all the details rated C for carnage are available at the Lib Guide. Except the frilled shark and alligator gar battle. That's rated G for garnage. Wow, what a night. Narwhal, polar bear, gelada, sun bear, ginkgo, and rizzo, best friends. Alligator gar, addicts, and puma advance to tomorrow night's elite trait and the beginning of random habitats. Who will triumph? Who will fall? Find out next episode. Until next time, good night and good luck. Remember, in March Mammal Madness, if you're learning, you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, March Mammal Madness. It's going down. 65 species from all around. Thurl's deer, polar bear, taking the crown. Adax and Ginkgo, they're battle bound. If you're learning, you're winning. Take over when the league begins. Zorilla, flying snake, they're coming through. Moon, rat, and fern got something to prove. Tree of life, they're fighting for the throne. Who's gonna make this tournament their own? First three rounds, home field's your friend. But elite trade, final roar, that's where legends send. Number one seeds might fall today. Unexpected champs gonna have their say. If you're learning, you're winning. What? Species battling, no one spinning. Survival skills put to the test. March Mammal Madness, who's the best? 65 and up, but only one stays. March Mammal Madness, scientific ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>